Yesterday, I talked about an article that I had read by an author, a writer named Jessica Stillman. The point of her article was that, especially with TED Talks, TED curators use five words to help calm the nerves of speakers. And those five words are, everybody is on your side. And I, I love the concept. It does help people kind of rein in those nerves. And remember that people are there for a reason. They want you to succeed. There were five other words in this article that jumped out at me. And it wasn't the point of Jessica's article at all with these other five words. But the words she wrote were, your story isn't about you. How is that possible? How could your story not be about you? When you're telling your story, if it is well written and it is sensory rich and emotional, when you're telling that story, you're triggering the thoughts in the audience of, of people and experiences they've had. Here's an example. I'm currently working on a story about the time. I've actually done this twice in my life. I've gotten to drive a real Indy car, one time at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, one time at the Kentucky Speedway. And I talk about the emotions I went through and the fear and the, and the terror and also the euphoria. When I tell that story, virtually no one in my audience has ever sat in an Indy car, nor will they ever. My job is to connect the emotions, the terror, the fear, and the euphoria to experiences they've had in their life. The ultimate message of that story is that far too often we spend our lives with our foot on the brake of our life. Because that, that was the experience I had in the car. I wasn't going fast in the beginning because I was so nervous. I had one foot on the accelerator, one on the brake, and I wasn't really enjoying the process. Once I pulled my foot off the brake and went for it and just said, well, if I hit the wall, I hit the wall. At least I've had fun in these few moments before hitting the wall. Uh, that's living life in, in the, the lane that you want to live in. That was the whole point of the story. Now, again, most people will never drive an Indy car, but they can relate to putting their foot on the brake of their life. So when Jessica Stillman writes that your story is not about you, that's what she means. It is your personal journey, but if you're telling it well, you're tapping into the emotions and the experiences of the audience, and that's how they connect with you. Uh, there's a story I also tell about my dad uh, being a teacher and the impact he had on others. And invariably, when I tell that, people will come up to me and they'll say, you made me think of my dad, my mom, who's a teacher, or a favorite teacher. So remember, your story is not about you, ultimately. When you're up there sharing it, you're tapping into emotions and experiences that other people have had. Hope this helps.